Facebook page isn't really, it's, you can't really just use a Facebook page very easily anymore to promote your product on its own. Um, the you know, organic reach is harder and harder to find because the, the space is just so incredibly crowded. So just be aware that when you're posting to your page, you're not really doing it um, because you expect that these posts are going to get you fantastic sales results. That won't really happen, um, not unless you're a massive big brand already. Uh, but the purpose is more to give your business legitimacy and to showcase your personality, your, your businesses, your brand's personality. Um, and so, you know, you, you don't need to just try to just do sales posts. You can also do a bit more lighthearted posts. You can do inspirational quotes, things like that are always good to put on your Facebook page. Um, so what, I'll just go through a few things when you actually create the page, just a few things in here. Now, the first thing I'm going to mention is this big um, cover image here. And I think Bradley, um, he said he was going to redo this. I don't think he has yet. Um, because this is one thing that throws a lot of people. If you click on this, you can see it looks great. So what happens is often people will set up their page on desktop, but you need to double check that it looks okay on the mobile app. Because this image looks fantastic here. It looks great up here, but if I was to look at this on mobile, what I actually see is that the sides of the um, image are chopped off there. So I find that the Canva, um, Canva is a little free graphic design app, if you don't already know. The Canva um, uh, dimensions that they use for their Facebook cover, I, I think work really well. I've got Canva open on a tab here. So what you need to do is create an image which is this size here now this is i'll tell you what it is it's 1640 by 924 i think that's actually double the dimensions that facebook recommends but i i think it gives you better resolution when you go big but the but the um, the proportions are still exactly the same but so on on um desktop you'll see this bit here and you want to make sure that all the core information is in this section here on mobile, you'll see the entire image. So the strips on the top and the bottom there, you want to put, if you have a background image, you just want to make sure that you don't have somebody's head right, right there so that on mobile it gets chopped off or on desktop it gets chopped off in the middle there. Um, so just, just be aware of that. When you upload your cover image, always check it on mobile as well because it can throw, it can, um, throw people off there. Okay, so if I go back to the page here, um, Okay, so the next thing I was going to show you was just having a look really quickly having a look at some of the page settings again. Most of this is pretty self explanatory you don't need to go into it a lot. Um, so if you go into page settings you see this big menu down the left now most of this you can just leave as is unless you have some particular reason to change anything I won't go through all these all these menu items because we will be here all night. Um, but be aware in page info. One thing you do always want to do is have a username for your page. And the reason you want that is because if you don't have a username, what you'll see up here in the URL would be facebook.com. It might be how-game-ru-68423 and a whole lot of numbers, et cetera, along the end there, um, which isn't very user-friendly. And so if you've got marketing material and you want to put your Facebook address onto the marketing material, if you have a username, you'll get a nice friendly URL there to use. Also, once you've got the URL, this is what people, other pages or other people would use to tag your page. So if I say at how game are you, I'll write, I'm basically creating a little link in my page post, which goes to the how game are you page. Um, so do get a username. Be aware though, you can't just be careful when you set up the username because it's, um, once you use them, they tend to be unable to be used again. So don't put in 16 different options to see how they all look and then try to go back to option number two because chances are it won't be available anymore. So think about what your username is before you start typing in that box. Um, and then, yeah, try to get, hopefully you'll be able to get the one you want. If you can't, because some other page has, is either using it currently or has used it one day and has discarded it, but it's, it's now sort of locked. 
Um, just, you know, play around with that username and maybe you know, might need to add AU or something on the end there, but do set up a username. Um, the categories, don't get too hung up on the categories. Just try to find categories that suit your page. This can be a real nightmare because you have to type it in to find the category. Um, and But I did find there is, and I can chuck this in the chat if you want, there is a list here of page categories. These are what you can do and they change all the time as well. So sometimes you, you'll see a page that has a category, you'll try to use that category and it doesn't exist anymore. Um, so you can use a list like this to search for the categories that you want, but just find two or three that best suit your page. Don't get too um, worried about that. Uh, okay, so in, and apart from that, I mean, the rest of this is pretty much self-explanatory. Put in the information that is relevant to you. If it's not relevant, such as service area, don't put it in, that's fine. Put, put a bit of a, a description of your, um, your business down here. Okay, so in the templates and tab section, here um, it's best to have a shopping template if you're a shop, otherwise choose the one that best suits you. Over here, you can actually rearrange these if you want to and turn them on and off. Some people don't know that this is an option. Um, so for example, you might want shop to be uh, Bradley. You can change these back afterwards, <laughs> obviously. You might want shop to be at the top. You might want, if, you've, if your page does a lot of videos, you might want that to be up high because the page will only show three or four along the top before it has a more drop down, and then you won't see the rest. Um, try to get some reviews if you can. It's good to have Facebook reviews up there. Um, a lot of the time you won't need events, so you can turn it off if that's not relevant to you. Jobs, for example, may not be relevant. Um, that's that. And another thing you can do if you want to, but I, I, I don't think it's by any means necessary. But if you know that you'll be out of um, reach or something for, uh, you know, actually away from the internet, crazily, for a week or so, you might want to set up a um, automated responses here in Messenger. But I won't go into that. I'm just saying that it exists if you want to check it out. Um, and the other thing is, of course, Instagram. Now, I won't go into setting up Instagram except to say that when you do set up Instagram, make sure you make it a professional account, not a personal account. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Once you've done that, you can, this is where you would link it to your page. So you'll link your Instagram account to your page account, to your Facebook page account. And once you've done that, then you can, it makes things so easy because you can then start posting to both platforms um, simultaneously. Sometimes people will say, well, do I really need an Instagram account? And no, you possibly you don't really need an Instagram account unless you have a very visually appealing product. But at the same time, it never hurts to have one because once if you do it like this, it might take you 20 minutes to set it up. And then once you've connected it to Facebook, it's so easy to post to both platforms together that it's sort of to me, it's sort of like, well, why not? Why not just put yourself out there as well? The great thing about Instagram is that you can use hashtags really effectively to try to get a wider organic reach. Um, so I, I think it's worth doing. Okay, and, and then you can tailor your um, posts and your ads to the different platforms as well when you're, when you're setting that up. Um, I, I won't look at anything else here. I think the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. That was a video from my regular Monday night Q&A session with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. We are the fastest growing community of professional e-commerce sellers right here in Australia with sales of over 50 million dollars. If you'd like to find out more about what we do and also come and join us, you can get yourself off to www.aussie onlineentrepreneurs.com.au. The link for that is right in the description and I will see you on the inside. Till next time.